And we're back to Inkscape. Received a question in the comments and I wanted to clarify a little bit. Problem seems to be when you have more than one object. Let me just create a couple of giving it a stroke, no fill. Let's make it three. So you want to cut the overlaps and in other software in CorelDRAW, I believe the user said you have a tool that allows you to now delete these overlaps one by one and in Inkscape, to my knowledge, you don't have that. Instead, use for example, division or difference and then you go over it one by one and to be able to do that, you need to copy the shape that you want to use for cutting, for example, the circle right here. So press Ctrl D and you've got multiple ones and you can cut the star first and then a rectangle. What you can do to make it a little bit easier, you select the ones that you want to cut. Let us just say we want to have the star and a rectangle and the circle is an excluded object that we want to use for cutting. What you can do is you select the star first, hold shift, click on a rectangle, then go to path. So this is what I've selected here, then go to path and combine. Make sure it's at the bottom and the circle is on top. Let me give it a fill and you can see that circle is on top of our combined shape and we've got overlaps. Now you select it all, Ctrl A, and then you go to path and cut path. And now the circle has cut not only the star, but also the rectangle. And you can now select these overlaps and delete them with the delete key. So this is going to perform a cut that goes over multiple objects. And I believe if I understood you correctly, this is what you need. If we reverse the order, now we'll make the circle be at the bottom. Once again, only a stroke, we select it all, cut path. And now the circle is being cut in more than one position. You can see that there was the overlap for the rectangle, then the star, and then the one that didn't have an overlap. So this is what you can create using this method. Not a perfect solution for your problem, but it makes it a little bit easier. So try this out. And I hope that it helped. If not, let me know in the comments below. In general, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.